morning, everyone. Abraham Kronza coming to you from Iron Mastermind. And Emily Kronza. Uh, guys, uh, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of value today. Uh, we've been talking about uh, the laws and the processes. And today we're going to touch a little bit on the imagination and how the imagination can relatively help you get you in the right direction and help you really achieve any goal you want, right? Mm -hmm. um, one thing we need to understand is that if we're going back to our previous belief systems and we're going back to the, our, what you call our logic, our logic is a conditioning of a, of a mindset of what we already know how to do, right? So the, the logic can only keep producing more or less the same results. Can you explain why? Yes, well, the reason for that is that's kind of kind of go back to our belief system and our paradigms. So it's going to be a list. What? Okay, to begin with, a paradigm. A paradigm is going to be a multitude of habits that have almost exclusive control over your behaviors. And almost all behaviors are habitual. And that that's ultimately why whenever you are... Uh, why things kind of just keep on happening because whatever you're thinking about ultimately chances are you will continue to be thinking about it because that's your belief that's what you that's what you were taught that's uh, yeah it's your mindset yeah it's your mindset that's what i was thinking <laughs> and what, once once that mindset's been conditioned you're gonna you're gonna be able to keep producing more or less the same results over and over again and you can mm -hmm. um and, and in the general rule of thumb you almost don't have to even be there consciously and then everything just kind of lines up for you right yes um and that's because you've already learned how to do it right now so whoever you are with whatever you have right now and whatever uh time in your life you're in you're in a conditioned state of mind and you're in a conditioned state of level of awareness and we want to go beyond that and you want to go to to build something different or create something different or maybe start another multiple source of income uh, and you just want to improve. Well, you're going to have to go back to what? Well, you're going to ultimately have to go back to whatever. Well, for one, whatever you're wanting to improve, you need to have that set. You need to, you need to have that goal set. And by doing that, you're using your imagination. There you go. So you're going to the imagination. And, and when you're going to the imagination, you play with it all the time, right? Um, and we do. In a general rule of thumb, a lot of times people will find themselves daydreaming and they're thinking about different possibilities, different things, and they play with these ideas, they get emotionally involved with it. The problem is a lot of times, poof, it's gone like a thief in the night, the dream and the goal is gone. Mm -hmm. Why is it gone? Why doesn't it stay? Or why do, why do we not bring it into fruition? Why do we not uh, uh, conclude it and take action the steps? What could help everyone really help them guide them? If you're gonna use your imagination, once, for one thing, use it for goodwill, your goodwill. The imagination is the greatest nation. It's where you can create anything, you can assume any possibilities. It's also where you can take the imagination and mess everything up. How many times have you taken an idea and you'll find out every way it can go wrong, right? So whatever you're doing with it, you're bringing it in and you're playing with it. So you want to use your imagination for goodwill, you want to use your imagination to devise the, what? A plan, right? Mm -hmm. You want to devise and organize your mind. What's heaven's first law? It's gonna be order. Order where? In your own mind. Good, in our mind, my mind, right? So first do mental house sleeping every day and you wanna have your mind in order before you start your day because that's heaven's first law. And when you can con coordinate and keep your mind in order, you can start to control yourself, your body, my mind, and then ultimately my results, right? Mm -hmm. So as we're using this, this, this collective process, this growth process, and uh, the creative process, you have to use the imagination, the power of the imagination. Mm -hmm. How can we stimulate the imagination? Well, um, different, different ways of doing that. Well, first of all, I, I kind of want to um, touch lightly on this. Um, you... The whole reason for you to use your imagination is to really have a mental image and emotionalize with it towards a goal, towards some an end result that you're wanting to achieve. So I think that's very important because 
you, like Abraham said just a little while ago, he said, how, how do we use the imagination and not just have it kind of just disappear right. or just be a dream? Well, the way we do that is by setting a C type goal. Now there are different types of goals. There's an A type goal, a B type goal, and a C type goal. A and B type goals don't really constitute as goals. An A type goal is something that you already know, um, you already know how to do. A B type goal is something that you think you can do, so it doesn't really resonate too much with you. Now a C type goal is a goal that is so far out there that you don't necessarily believe that it can be done, but you really, really want it so badly. And those are the type of goals that you need to set because those are the goals that you're going to be imagining about. You're going to be thinking about every single day and every si single second throughout the day. And those are the goals that will stick. And those are the goals that you will play with and em get emotionally involved with. And it will, it will help you to create your day, to yeah, have the plan. Your day. Yes. And organize a plan, right? So the, everything you might need to create anything you might want to create is where? It's in the workshop of the mind. Mm -hmm. And that's in the imagination, right? So when we really start to understand that, it's, it, it is the imagination is the workshop where any thought, any impulse, anything can be created. And it's created twice. Understand this. The creation is created twice. Once in the mind, second in physical form, right? So nobody ever really gets the original. The original is in your mind. And this is the beauty of this, is that you can take your mind and you can organize new thoughts, you can organize new patterns and new plans, but you gotta do it and nobody else can do it for you, mm -hmm. right? So that's taking responsibility. Responsibility for who? For yourself. Yep, for myself, my mind, my reality. I've gotta be responsible for me. My mind is a center, it is not the center, my mind is a center. And if I really start to understand that my mind is a center, then I need to take responsibility for my center and I can create a new what? Well, you can create a new reality. And I do that through the imagination. So the intuitive mind is a sacred gift while the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have reached the point in society where we have honored the servant and forgotten the gift. That was from Einstein. What does that mean? How can we give this illustration to people? What is he trying to say? Well, what he's saying is that we we have gone through society and we have we've we've learned that using the imagination not to do that you'll you i don't know if you guys remember being in school and they they tell you stop daydreaming start working listen or, right between yes. the lines right mm -hmm. and that's that's not the way to creation you want to use the imagination you need to go to this greatest nation you need to go to, to the art of creation and visualization because that's where you can create anything you might want Right? You can see it in your mind. You can hold it in your hands. Yes. So this genius part of us, it's not, it's not something that's lacking or we, we don't have or we can't have. There's genius locked up coded, and coded in, in each one of us. And you, you, how, do you, how do you get to that genius inside of you? Well, you start to what? Imagine. Yep. <laughs> and I want you to think about something. Writing, writing causes what? Causes thinking. Right. And thinking causes your feelings to be activated. And the feelings induces the what? The imagination. There you go. So when you really want to get into the spirit of it or into the spirit of a new idea, a new vision, you've got to be able to go within and you've got to sit down and get to your quiet place and go and start writing and start dialing in. What do I want? What do I really, really want? And then you can start to write and think of two, three, four, five pages. That's just wants. And then start imagining what your life would look like. Start imagining life how you want it to look like. Don't imagine it the way it is. You can decide, but you start off with the imagination and you start building the model. And once you've built the model, then you can start organizing the plan, mm -hmm. right? But it's this imagination and it's the intuitive factor of ourselves, of our, personal, of our higher personality that we can induce and we can bring anything we want to in, into existence. And this is how everything is created. I've created several companies, several companies. I've gone from millions a year to millions monthly. This was no accident. What was it? Discipline. It was imagination. It was persistence. It was desire. Mm -hmm. It's all of these faculties of, of our higher personality that each and every one of us have and each and every one of us can produce. But we have to be there. Yes.
it's the emotional involvement with the idea, with the goal towards an end result. And that's the crystallization of a worthy idea. So I hope this serves you guys. If you guys want to learn more and want to learn more about what we're doing, we work with different individuals, different different uh, parts of life. We work with businessmen. We work with uh, different individuals that want to create multiple sources of income or already have their their businesses and they want to scale their business. So there is there is not there's not one person that doesn't need this information because what we're teaching is we're teaching the laws of success and we're also teaching you the foundational. Uh, uh, format, the foundational uh, system to what the human is, how he works, and how to break free from all the limited beliefs, all the limitations we have. It doesn't matter where you're at. You're always growing and you're always going somewhere. And it's a decision to develop yourself and whether you want to personally develop yourself. And that is going to control your life. If you're not finding in people that know how to do things better than you, if you're not looking for personal development, then you're stuck and you're gonna relatively stay there. You may grow, we all grow a little bit at a time, but you this has to become a part of your lifestyle if you really wanna make exponential growth, if you really wanna double, triple, quadruple, 10 times, 20 times your, your income. And if you're not doing that, it's because you're not taking the personal responsibility and you're not really taking the steps because you truly, it's fear, doubt, and worry that's holding you back. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't anybody want a better life? So we hope this serves you guys. We have programs on the weekends. We have uh, classes throughout the week. And uh, if you're interested, uh, shoot us a message and give us a call. Yes. All right. Have a great day, guys.